Hi, my name is Janet Ma, and today I'm going to be giving you a presentation on internet, on internet cookies and the ethical issues that surround them. CookieCentral.com defines cookies as a cookie is a small piece of information sent by the web server to store on the web browser so it can later be read back from that browser. This is useful for having the browser remember some specific information. Basically, a cookie is a text file that is stored on your hard drive or memory and is used to collect information about your internet activities. To give you a brief history about cookies, they were first introduced on the web in 1994 by Netscape with the intent to track visits to the Netscape site. Cookies were not widely known at that time and were accepted as default on your computer. But since then, Cookies have taken on a whole new meaning and have caused great controversy regarding whether this practice is ethical. Cookies can store information about you, such as your name, which sites you visit, what pages you are looking at on a particular site, how long you spend on a site, credit card information, what web browser you are using, and what operating system you are using. Thus, cookies provide information that can create a pretty detailed profile about its user, which can make many people feel uneasy. How are they used? Webmasters will collect statistical information about how often users visit their sites, what pages they are looking at, and how long they stay for. This in turn helps them to design a website that is tailored for its users in the future. Marketers use the cookie data to determine which advertisements they want you to see and how often you see it by collecting information about your browsing habits. This allows them to more effectively target you. Users are given a more personalized web experience. For example, search engine sites such as My Yahoo or MSN will display articles that it thinks you might be interested in and give you weather updates for your local area. The pros about cookies. As just mentioned, a definite benefit of the use of cookies is providing users with a more customized web experience. Users also experience an enhanced shopping experience. Many shopping sites are able to greet its users by name if you have provided them with this information before to remember which items you previously selected and make rec recommendations for you accordingly. Websites are able to collect statistical analysis about how often you visit their sites and what pages you are looking at. This is a valuable feedback and control mechanism for web developers since they can assess the data and make changes to improve their website accordingly. Overall, users get a more enjoyable web experience since it does not since it does provide some aspect of personalization especially when shopping online since there is not a physical brick and mortar store or a salesperson there to help you lastly cookies can help you save time by remembering your username and password so that you don't have to keep typing it in every time you visit that site as well as any credit card information you ask them to store for faster checkout in the future The cons about cookies are that many people are uneasy about the fact that cookies track your browsing habits so that marketers can more effectively target you. In direct marketing for catalogs, you are targeted based on your demographic. But with online marketing, the marketer can have a very detailed profile about you just based on your browsing habits. An extreme comparison would be if the government tracked your every look tracked every location you visited. Most cookies are stored on your memory or hard drive without your consent unless you have requested that feature on your browser. The issue is that cookies are not widespread, not, not widespread knowledge and most people do not know what they are all about. Thus, information is being collected about users and they may not even know that it is happening. Many marketing companies such as DoubleClick.com and InfoSeek.com will collect information about your browsing habits and will again resell that information to other companies. 
Thus, it is no longer only one company who has information about you. It may be many. Some cookies will also store your username and password, which can be considered an intrusion on privacy if it gets into the wrong hands. This is a screen printout of my computer when I searched all my files for cookies. I found multiple folders storing over a hundred cookies and a separate cookie folder for each of my usernames. I have to admit that this caught me by surprise having never done this before. I had stored, it had stored information about which sites I had visited, when the cookie was created, and when it had been accessed. If you double click on any of the files, you will find exactly what information is being stored about you. I noticed that one of the cookies placed on my computer was from doubleclick.com, which was previously mentioned, which means that information about me could potentially be sold to others. This made me feel a little uneasy because it seemed like someone was tracking my every move on the web. There are many ethical issues surrounding cookies. One of the main ethical issues surrounding cookies is whether or not it is ethical for cookies to be placed on a user's computer without his or her consent. Most users are not educated in this area and do not know anything about cookies and what information is being collected about them. Another ethical issue is whether or not it is ethical for companies to sell information about your browsing habits. Instead of only one company now who has information about you, many companies, many other companies can have it as well. The last ethical issue is how much privacy are you willing to get up, give up for added convenience. Some users prefer to have cookies store their username and password, credit card information, and preferences because it is more convenient, but others may feel that it is an intrusion on their privacy. It is up to each individual to decide how much privacy they are willing to give up for that extra added convenience. What can you do about it? Most browsers now allow you to block cookies or ask for permission before a cookie is placed on your computer. But this tends to create a problem because you cannot access many websites unless you allow them to place a cookie on your computer. For example, today I tried to block all the cookies from being stored on my computer and I could not access my Hotmail accounts. Most websites will also have a privacy policy on them that will disclose exactly what the cookies will be used for. It is usually in fine print, but may be worthwhile to read. Lastly, the only way to, to protect your privacy is to get educated on what cookies are all about and their capabilities. Therefore, it is up to you to determine how much information about yourself you are willing to release and not make it up to the marketers to determine how much information they can get from you. Thank you. And that concludes my presentation.